Hello parents and students, this is James Thornock from Coder Kids, and I am super happy to show you the starter kit. So let's get started. All right, so first things first, you are going to want fast and reliable internet. This is essential. Otherwise, the instructor will seem to lag, will not be able to hear you, you'll not be able to share your screen. It's going to make for a bad experience. I want to make sure that you have the best experience possible. Um, this week and doing all online classes and I'm gonna show you some tips and tricks to get a little bit better internet speed and better connectivity okay if you want to skip this step you can just plug an ethernet cable into your computer that's always the best option but if you want to do a speed test I'll go ahead and show you how to do that so we're gonna go open up a new tab go to google.com and what are we gonna do we are going to just type in speed test once you type in speed test, you can just click run speed test. Now your speed is probably not going to be this high. Don't fret. Don't worry about it. It will probably likely be around 30 to 70. Um, those numbers are perfectly fine. If it gets if it gets to like 10 or 13, I'd start to worry a little bit, um, but it should still be fine. If it gets like 5 or 1, it's not going to be fast enough. Now this upload speed um, doesn't need to be nearly as fast as this download speed. Um, you're looking for a number of five, six or seven if you're lucky, but three to five is, is fine on the upload speed. You're going to want to run the same speed test in multiple areas of your home. So run it on the couch, run it in the bedroom, run a speed test on the kitchen table, run it at the desk, right? And again, you want to go with the fastest number, obviously the highest number, and you want to plug in an Ethernet cable, if at all possible. It's, it's going to make your experience so much better. Okay, next, let's log into Discord. All right, you're going to get a link in an email or in a confirmation email, uh, and you're going to click on that. Okay. And then you're going to register for an account, download the app, and I'll walk you through that here. Okay, so let's go ahead. And when you click on that link, it's going to take you to a registration page. You're going to go ahead and register for an account, and you're going to download the app. Now, I already have the, down the app downloaded, so um, anyway, this is what it looks like in a browser. It looks like the same in an app. Okay, you're going to end up in this sorting room, okay? You can see my username is down here at the bottom. It's Testerman. And I, I'm going to see Carlbot. And Carlbot says, what did you join for? And it has a list of camps and then the uh, corresponding emoji that you react to. So let's say, so right now, I really can't see too many channels on the side here. I can see these arcade channels, but not really um, much at all. So what you need to do is react with the appropriate emoji and you'll be able to see those channels that you need to join. So if you click on this JavaScript camp, then boom, it will go ahead and put you in. So now you want to be a part of the uh, text channel as well as the voice channel. So if you're in blue, you're going to go to blue and then you're also going to have go to blue voice okay so you're going to be in both of those channels at the same time it's very important that you're in both now you're going to want to test your microphone that's another step you're going to make um, you can do this by clicking on user settings voice and video and then let's check let's check okay okay well it looks like it's working just fine we just click on let's check and it should work just fine then click escape then what you want to do is where it says tester man you're going to right click okay never mind uh we are going to go to nickname i'm trying to find the the nickname setting here okay okay so if you click on your avatar in the chat you can change your nickname. So my name is is actually James Thornock. So I would go ahead and change my name to James Thornock in the server. So my username is still the same, but to everyone else I appear as James Thornock. That's important so we can take a roll. Okay. 
So that is uh, pretty simple. When you want to mute yourself, pretty easy. You just click on the mute and it'll make that noise. And uh, yeah, so that are those are some tips and tricks for Discord, very important. And uh, that is how you join. So that we're not gonna use Zoom, we're using Discord from here on out, okay. All right, let's continue. We have headphones, okay, headphones, so important. You gotta have headphones. Um, this really helps dial down the chaos in the class and it's gonna make your experience so much better for your parents, for yourself, uh, it's gonna be good. Um, you can get a pair of headphones with a microphone for about five bucks at Target um, or anywhere else online. So these are pretty inexpensive these days. And um, you know they, they really are gonna make all the difference. So whenever possible, grab a pair of headphones. Next. Now these are quality of life improvements. You can stop at step number three, you can be done, but I definitely encourage you to do these things, okay? Look down at your keyboard right now. Now literally look down. You're gonna see some different keys on your keyboard. There's right next to the space bar, there's this thing called an alt key. It says A-L-T. You wanna hold that down and then hit the tab button. And then that will show you a bunch of apps, okay? So with Mac, there's going to be a, an Apple key with a special symbol on it and then the tab key, but they both work the same way. Okay, so I'm going to hit that and I'll show you what happens. You see, I have my music player, I have my screen recording software, and I have the uh, Brave internet browser. Okay, so you're going to see the Discord app is one of these. And you can switch between Discord and, and, and the the browser that you're working in, and you're gonna do that all the time. So go ahead and just practice moving back and forth, and it will really help you. I have three displays, you're not seeing the other two displays, but normally you would see the app change um, in the same display, okay? So just Alt-Tab, Alt-Tab, Alt-Tab. Remember that, it's gonna save you so much time and frustration, okay? Um, the other thing you want to do is close unnecessary programs. So right now I don't need Amazon Music open, so I just closed it. Um, and that is going to free up resources on your computer to be faster. Also, if you're on a laptop or an iPad with a keyboard or anything like that, you don't want to charge the battery to maximum before the class um, to make sure everything's good to go. All right, let's go to step number five. Have a blast, guys! This is a summer camp or after school program. It's meant to be fun. You're meant to learn stuff, but you're also meant to laugh and make friends and just really enjoy it, okay? We've gone over a lot of kind of boring little details, but that will help improve your experience. But at the end of the day, you, you really got to have fun with it. If you're feeling frustrated in class, that happens to the best of us, but... Um, and that is part of the coding process, is to be frustrated. But when you get that frustrated feeling, there's some steps that you can take. So number one, definitely take a deep breath. You see this, this uh, cringy cartoon guy over here? He is breathing in and out. That's what you should do. Ask the teacher a question respectfully and, and specifically, right? Uh, don't say a question like, I don't understand because number one, that's not a question. And number two, nobody can help you with that. So if you say, I don't understand this gravity variable, then we understand what you're talking about. So we want to be able to help you. And we and so the more specific you are, the, the better we can help you, right? It's okay to say I'm lost. Uh, but again, the more, the more specific you are, the, the more helpful it will be for everyone. So you can ask also over uh, voice or chat or both, okay? So it's important to do that. Also, realize at the end of the day, you're making your own video games, your own animations, your own stories. If you're in a Minecraft camp, you're going on adventures with other people your age or maybe di different ages. Like, this is really fun. You are now a creator, not just a consumer. 
what that means is like you don't have to for the rest of your life play other people's games you can make your own you can create um and just there's so many good things that can come out of that so let's have a blast um our camps really are fun and especially if you have that attitude and we seriously can't wait to have you in class so we are really excited if you do have any more questions feel free to shoot me an email mine is james at coderkids.com super easy if you have any questions at any point um you know i am the manager i'm happy to answer those questions and resolve any of those concerns um so step number one get good internet step two Make sure Discord's good to go. Three, get headphones. Four, learn to use Alt-Tab and charge your battery. And number five, have a blast. Okay, we'll see you in class.